You're listening to the Live, Work, and Play podcast series from the North Dakota Department of Commerce. To set up a virtual recruiter, click on Find a Job and log into an account. If you don't have an account, you can click on Not Registered and follow all the prompts. It doesn't take very long to set up an account. And what exactly does the virtual recruiter do, Chris? What a virtual recruiter will do is it will follow, it will, it will help you to search for work either in a certain area or in a certain industry. And you can set it to run daily, every other day, weekly. Uh, there are a lot of, lot of choices that you have available to you so that you can make the job search fit parameters that you want as opposed to just looking at the entire list of jobs in North Dakota, which is a long list on a daily basis, or even just in the individual counties or metro areas where you might want to search. Sure, so you set up this tool, and then does, does it notify you when any, job search, when any jobs are posted that fit your criteria? You can set it to notify you either through the message box, which I just canceled, sure. uh, because you get, you get messages within the system to come to your account, you can set them set the messages also to come to your email or to a phone by text message, notifying you of, of available of the results of the virtual recruiter that you've run. Wow, that's great! So it really takes up all your time. It can. It can save Searching. a lot of time if you've got a very specific search that you want to do, or if you just want to get a regular notification of the availability of work in a certain area it works well for someone who wants to get back to a certain part of North Dakota or someone who might want to get, uh, who just has an interest in a certain area of the state or a certain industry that's available in large, many parts of the state. To set up an, a virtual recruiter, you go to your individual profile. And click on the employment plan profile. You can choose virtual recruiter right over here. You have to re I have some set up. I'm going to walk through the. We'll walk through how to do it. Click on create a new job alert. And the advanced job search tab gives you the most options for being able to, like I said, drill down so that you can get something very specific. You can also, if you, if you just want to see everything that's available in an area, it may be useful to stay on the quick search. You can put in just a keyword. But for demonstration purposes, this will probably give the best picture of, all of, the, of many of the options available. You can change the area where you might want to work, for instance. Right now I've got it set to those counties. Uh, but you could choose by the entire state if you wanted to. You can go statewide. One of our metro areas, there are only three areas that are termed metro areas in the state. But what that does is it grabs a couple of surrounding counties together, uh, county or city. I'll choose county. Look at Williams County. Preferred employers are employers who post the jobs directly on our website. These other options are, are employers who we have agreements with so that their jobs end up on our websites. The job descriptions have a little less detail to them, but uh, if but there's, it's definitely the best way to go is to check all if you want, if, if what you're looking for is just all of the different opportunities that are available. Right, because when it says newspaper, that would be the site spidering technology, correct? That goes and pulls all new postings on any newspapers in the state and then reposts them? Newspaper, corporate, the hospitals, the education institutions, and the state job board all actually spider. 
And what about the private job board? Is that too? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, so, and that would the be a company's job, website, right? Correct. Okay. And for that matter, even the recruiter does. Um, there are some of the some of the uh, websites that that uh, people are familiar with that we have agreements with, and their jobs end up on our website also. If you happen to know a job order number from a, a search you've done in the past, you can put that in. But for the purposes of using the virtual recruiter, we're looking for all the available available work in this area. So I'm just going to say oil field. And as you can see, you can ask for all these words. You can ask for exact wording or just one or more of some words. So I'm going to leave this checked to the default and we're looking in both the job title and the job description for the word oil field. You can choose from an occupation group. And that's much more general, right? So if you wanted to be like a truck driver in the oil field, you choose transportation and material moving? Definitely. Right? Right. Okay. I, I like to leave the search as open as you can first and if you like the results you can save the search. If you think there are too many results then I hit the back button, come in and tighten up the search using, for instance, this cho this choice. Okay. If you happen to have an employer name, you can put it in, but again, I want to make the widest search I can for, for starting purposes. This is great because we did choose to look at all of the different employers that are available. Mm -hmm. uh, if, we, if we were just using the preferred employers, which are the ones that are registered with job service and posting directly to our website, you can choose some of these options. If employer size, employer type, whether or not they're a federal contractor is important to you. You can put in the amount of experience you want for the job. And your salary, right? I and salary that. requirements. Yeah. Always important to be careful with that. And if you're going to choose a salary, you might want to include jobs that have no salary listed. Many employers like to check on the qualifications of a person before they make an offer. Sure. The benefit options are also not not all shown because if it's, if we were looking only at preferred employers, the same the same holds true as I was saying earlier. Preferred employers check whether or not each of these benefits are available for uh, within their profile in our system because we are looking at every job that's on our website. Those aren't all available sure. as far as being able to narrow your search. Get down to the bottom and hit search. And we found 124 jobs that match our criteria. Like wow, it, and that's just in one county. That's in one county with just the word oil field. And as you can see, we've got an oil field delivery driver, a welder in the oil field, an oil field dispatcher. So not all just support positions that also fit in with, with the industry, which is why your suggestion was actually a really good one. With that many options, this might be too wide a search. Sure. So I'm going to hit the back button and we're going to see what happens if we choose an industry or occupation, excuse me, the industry as well. We'll try transportation and material moving occupations. <coughs> Go back down and hit search again. Now we've narrowed it to 25. Now that's that's something that that might be a lot easier for a person to sort through and decide whether or not this this is work that you want to do. Sure, that's pretty amazing though. 25 oil field openings in Williams County jobs just in Williams County. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And we could have also used the keyword instead of choosing the um, instead of choosing the industry like we did. If you're happy with this search, and you choose safe search. Now the virtual recruiter, this is how to set up the virtual recruiter to work okay. for you. Great. Um, we'll call this oil field trucking. You can, you can tell the virtual recruiter how often to run, daily, weekly, monthly, or you can inactivate it if you, if you log back in. Sure. Uh, right now, I'm looking for work, so we're going to say daily. And 
as long as there's an email in the in your email address in your personal profile, you can tell this personal profile that I'm using doesn't have one. If you don't have an email address or a text or, or a cellular phone listed in your profile, you can't choose those. But if you ha if when you register, you have an email address and or a cellular phone number, you can choose to get notifications daily about what has come up as far as available op available opportunities that fit the criteria for the one with the, the virtual recruiter we just set up. They will always go to the message center, which is when you first log in, you get told you have new messages. If you click OK, okay you get to see that list, that day's list. Opportunity to go back over and verify that this is what I was looking for, or this, these are the criteria I put in. And when you save, you can see I've got a large number of them. You can, if you want to change any of them or delete them, you can you can click on them to edit. You can check the box to delete. And that would be really helpful. You know, I get people um, that I work with through the relocation program that have resumes where they have three completely different skill sets, you know, that they'd be willing to do. And, you know, you'd think an employer in North Dakota would be super excited to hire them for it. So this is just so great because then they can set one up for each of the skill sets. And it takes a little time on the front end, but we've done this in under 10 minutes of just going through the search, figuring out what works best for you. And then that virtual recruiter does all the work. Yes. And you can, there's, you can set up resumes in more than one way on this system also. 